This is the Interceptor. It's the creation of Palmer Lucky, who might be the world's most unlikely weapons mogul. He's the founder of a multi-billion dollar virtual reality company. He's also a polarizing figure in Silicon Valley. My name is Palmer Lucky, and I'm the founder of Anduril. I want to build a big company. I want to build a company that's worth billions of dollars. I want to become one of the major defense contractors that's building technology for the United States government. And uh, I'm, 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 I'm proud to say that. I'm happy to say that. And I hope we get there. At his previous company, the virtual reality headset maker Oculus Rift, Lucky had the idea to build a futuristic consumer device combining low-cost components with sophisticated software. He sold Oculus to Facebook for about $2 billion in 2014. Two years later, just a month before the 2016 presidential election, the Daily Beast reported he'd given $10,000 to a group of Trump supporters to fund billboards featuring insulting messages about Hillary Clinton. In 2017, Facebook announced that Lucky was no longer an employee. I was fired. We can all be honest about it. It became the rare HR decision to make it into a congressional hearing. The CEO, have you ever made hiring or firing decisions based on political positions or what candidates they supported? No. Why was Palmer Lucky fired? That is a specific personnel matter that seems like it would be inappropriate to You just made to a here. specific representation that you didn't make decisions based on political views. Well, is that I, can, I can commit that it was not because of a political view. Anderl has followed Lucky's Oculus playbook, using off-the-shelf components in an industry much more suited to his politics. Over the course of a few months earlier this year, the company built a cheap version of its drone, made a smartphone video, and started showing it to people at the Pentagon. It, it, it's a little crazy, but I think that that is definitely the way that it's going. I mean, all these other systems, like where they, there are people who propose uh, shooting drones out of the sky with a laser or with a missile, or but, you know, that's not really a good way to take out, let's say, a hundred drones that are attacking you from all different directions. The only thing that can take out a swarm of fast drones is a bigger swarm of faster drones, and that's exactly what we're building. Here's some interceptors. Uh, this one has a experimental parachute release mechanism. So then the idea is after it runs into something, if it really destroys its drivetrain, uh, rather than falling to the ground, it can pop a parachute, fall to the ground safely. It pops this thing, pops it open, and there's the parachute. I think that's one of the reasons that our customers li <laughs> like us so much. I mean, uh, they're used to going to people who have like, you know, here's this white paper, here's this idea that we have. We want you to pay us by the hour so that we can research it and figure out if it makes sense. And then if it does, you'll pay us by the hour to make it. And then if it doesn't, you'll pay us until it does work. And we're going to them and saying, we did this ourselves, we used our own money, we got it done in a matter of weeks, and here it is. Anduril has shipped several hundred interceptors to military bases. It also has contracts with the U.S. Customs and Border Protection Agency to provide surveillance equipment to use at the border with Mexico. Workers at other tech companies, such as Google, Microsoft, Amazon, and Palantir, have all objected to doing similar work, leading to protests by employees and activists. Lucky insists that Anduril's work isn't partisan. There's a lot of people who I think falsely conflate border security with immigration policy. And I don't care what you believe on immigration policy. Even if you want to have totally open immigration, anyone can come to the United States and instantly become a citizen, you should still want to have strong border security. The company's surveillance technology consists of large towers packed with sensors and small surveillance drones that can be set up along the border or at military bases to guard the perimeter. So this is one of our sentry towers. It is a totally autonomous, solar-powered, infrastructure-independent security tower. So by placing these towers every few miles, you can end up with a nearly perfect picture of everything that's going on in a really large area. And then that data is very easy for an operator to read. These are being used right now by the DOD, by Department of Homeland Security, along military bases, the border, and a lot of other critical infrastructure. Anduril's future success relies largely on the military's continued concern that the U.S. could lose to China in an arms race based on artificial intelligence. Our technology is far behind the consumer area in many places, and we're also far behind our adversaries in a lot of places. 
people should be more worried than they are about falling behind because it's not something that's going to happen someday. It's already happened. Critics say technologists like Lucky have an ethical duty to stay out of the weapons business, but neither the military nor Anduril's investors share their concerns. The company recently raised a $120 million investment round, valuing it at about $1 billion.